And the organization of the piece is something that will slowly reveal itself to you. A piece that's in the Sears courtyard, for instance, is, is organized around several structural principles that operate in nature all the time. Stacked and rotated precariously, this 26-foot-high sculpture at the Fairlane Town Center may strike you as pleasing in some vaguely familiar way. Its creator, David Barr, says one reason may be that the mathematical relation of its parts to each other can be found all around us. And you find that in the le in leaf patterns in nature, in the, in the way a shell grows, that's a fundamental organizing principle of nature. So what I'm doing is incorporating those things that tend to be invisible in the world and making them visible as a structural organization. The same natural principle is at work in Sunset Cube, Barr's piece on the festival grounds at Meadowbrook. But in its conception, Barr was also thinking about ancient ruins. The thing about Greek ruins that's so wonderful is that they have a certain kind of dignity. You know, that they, uh, they're old and destroyed, 90% of them might be removed, but this dignity remains. And that's what I'm interested in, creating some kind of enduring dignity in the world. Barr continues to produce large public sculpture. He's working here on the model for a piece scheduled for installation in Lansing. But he spends a great deal of time in his studio creating art for the home, like these reliefs displayed at the Donald Morris Gallery in Birmingham. A subtle combination of rich and vivid colors on raised and contoured surfaces. With the reliefs, I'm, I'm projecting things out into space in this kind of a manner. So what you're seeing from this side is different from what you're seeing from this side and what you're seeing from that side. So as you walk by it, there's a changing experience. It takes approximately 200 hours to make one relief and uh, begin by, by cutting, sanding, forming, drilling, uh, putting it together, painting it then all white with a sealer, and then anywhere from 10 to 20 coats of gesso that go over that, sanding in between many of the coats. And when that's, when that's ready, we now have a, a surface that will suck the paint into it. And as always with Barr, there's the matter of what is real. There are many artists that other people will call realistic. And what, for me, they are doing is producing illusions. The illusion of a face, the illusion of a body. For me, what's real, and, and when I began exploring things as an artist, I quickly came to sculpture because of its reality, that this, that this was a piece of metal, that this was a piece of bronze, that this was actual paint on an actual form, and it was far less illusionary. Ironically, the piece for which David Barr is best known exists primarily in the imagination. The Four Corners Project began nine years ago when Barr imagined a huge tetrahedron, a four-sided figure made up of equilateral triangles inside the Earth, with each of its four points emerging at a different location. All of them, third world countries, low in our consciousness, uh, people who, with a rich art history that I uh, have great respect for. So it's Africa, Greenland, New Guinea, and Easter Island are the four sites. Then I took a piece of marble that was left over from the city county building, carved it into a tetrahedron, chopped off the four corners of that shape, and went to each of those sites and buried it on the site. At each location, a stone was placed with ceremony, some poetry, a dance by Barr's wife, Beth, and his daughter, Gillian. But just getting to a couple of the sites was extremely difficult. They had a charter a plane with skis on it to land on the ice cap on top of Greenland. The plane couldn't get off there. We were, we were stuck up there. We had to unload the plane and leave things. And it took me four years of negotiating with the Indonesian uh, government to try to get into Irian Jaya, New Guinea. There, we also are about 400 miles out in the jungle, at a, uh, and we also had to get a plane and land and go into the jungle and, and plan it. And I just finished that in January. None of this describes what the meaning and the purpose of it is, which is really about connecting human beings, that this is a piece of sculpture, the Four Corners Project, that no one owns because everyone owns it, that it exists in the human imagination. On the grounds of his home outside of Novi, Barr has the monuments for his next international project already cut and waiting. He calls it Sun Sweep, and it celebrates our friendly U.S.-Canadian border with stones to be placed at the western and eastern tips, forming an imaginary arch to span the entire border. This was a cornfield when I came here. There was nothing here. Was, uh, there wasn't uh, any of these trees, shrubs, the pond, the sculpture, the house, nothing was here. 
Um, I guess it was a lifelong fantasy to build my own place. I could never afford to have someone else build it. Educated at Wayne State, Barr makes ends meet, always a problem for an artist, by teaching at Macomb Community College. His house includes his studio, and like his art, is a product of his own hand. I did all of the construction, did uh, uh, wiring, uh, plumbing, the whole, whole works myself. All of that changes you. When you learn, I think it's given me a level of confidence. It's pulled those things together. It's made me calmer. The house has become an expression for me, of me. And Saturday and Sunday, I won't be able to talk to you because I don't think there's any phones up in Angle Inlet, Minnesota. Angle That's what they said. My wife, Beth, is a dancer and has been running her own dance school for uh, most of her mature life and has continued to do so. A good deal of my present happiness and productivity and, and uh, peace of mind is coming from the fact that uh, the relationship with Beth is so wonderful. I'm excited. Almost every day when I wake up, anxious to get to work, I love to work. I average 50, 60 hours a week in my studio. I've never lost the, uh, the zest to work, I just love it.